How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and today we're going to be talking about genius brands. Yes, I do not like talking about genius brands. I've only spoken about it once on the channel in a prior video, but what I want to do is give you guys some clarity. I know many of you have bought into genius brands from other advice that you've gotten from a lot of YouTubers. And the thing is you need to realize this is a very volatile stock. It is very well known, and I said this in the last video, it does not do a great job holding its gains. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video, I'm gonna be doing a technical analysis for anyone who's thinking, hey, how could I swing trade Genius so I can make money? Or how could I actually get into Genius long-term if I do have interest in the company or believe in the company? So watching that technical analysis video will set you up so you don't end up on the wrong side of your trade or on the wrong side of your investment. And I feel like this is very important because again, I'm hearing it a lot saying like genius, this, genius, that, and it's understandable. So what we're going to be doing, I'll do that technical analysis. And then afterwards, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and what my overall prospects and what I think the potential of genius actually is. So we'll get right into it. Hope you enjoy it. We'll talk afterwards. All right. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis on genius brands. If we take a look at how it did on Thursday, it ended up closing at a dollar and 88 cents, being down 3.09% on the day. Ended up seeing a high of a dollar 94 cents and seeing lows of a dollar and 83 cents. So what you see right in front of you is actually the one year, one day chart for genius brands. I want to kind of show you guys how volatile this stock can be and why it has a tendency to make spikes and lose gains afterwards. So if we take a look even at the 52 week high, it's at $11.73, which we could see over here, which went down back in June. But then as you could see, it gave up pretty much all of its gains, right? It ended up coming down and then it ended up spiking back again, right when it was at the level of $2.21 and then spiked up to just under $4. Ended up getting beaten down, beaten down, and as you can see, going all the way from August, moving along, had some run-ups here and there, had a little bit of a run-up there, spiked up back again, hitting this level of resistance where it's clear right at that $3 level. So what we wanna take a look at now is now the three month chart on the one hour. So we take a look at the three month on the one hour, we already saw previously we have a resistance area at $3. And if we take a look even closer now, we definitely have some resistance right here around $2.80. So what can we actually look forward to and what does the trend actually look like? So if we quickly take a look at the six month chart, we can actually see that Genius Brands looks like it's on an upward trend. It's actually moving up and giving us some good price action. So these support levels seem to be looking like they are getting better. So even though it's looking fairly bearish, it's definitely a great area in regards to building a position at $1.80 and lower. That's right. So at $1.80 or lower, these are great areas to take advantage of if you're looking at genius brands. We can see another strong area of support here right at $1.60. If it pulls back to $1.60, again, this is a great opportunity to actually get in. If But if that area ends up breaking, then the next area of support, as you can see clearly here, is around $1.40. Will it pull back even this far? Hey, I'm not seeing it, but if it does happen, just make sure you have some room to add because it is a great opportunity because this stock is well known for having spikes so you can get a good profit on it. And like I said, end up doubling your money potentially. So what we wanna look for as far as moves to the upside, Genius definitely needs to come back and reclaiming into that dollar and 90 cent area and then make that move to $2. Once it's at $2 and starts moving above that, then we can see some strong price action. But am I gonna be seeing that happening next week or even within the month of April? It all depends. Anytime there's a press release or some good news, this stock does react very well to it. So I would definitely make sure if you are playing Genius Brands, know what the volatility is like, and now you have some sort of an idea of what to expect and how the price action performs from this video. So we're now on fintel.io for Genius brand so we're going to be taking a look at the short interest so we can see right away the short volume ratio is at 32 percent so what this means is if there's a press release or any news like i was saying the short squeeze potential is 
definitely there. It's part of the reasons why we see some sharp actions in price whenever some press release gets dropped. We could also see the short shares availability is also at 1.4 million and the short borrow free rate is at 1.62%. So when we take a look at this short volume ratio, seeing it at 31.63 is fairly significant. We can see this has gone up, especially from the date of March 30th, but we can also see in the past that it does have a tendency to be in this 30 range already. Even if we take a look at the period all the way from March 19th, going all the way up to April the 1st, on average, it stays above having a short volume ratio of 30%. And part of the reasons why it does have a ton of squeeze potential and why it's great whenever there's a press release that comes out, we see some serious moves in regards to price action. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on. Also, let's take a look at the institutional ownership. So we're now taking a look at the institutional ownership for Genius Brands. You can see as far as overall institutional owners amount up to 103. So if we scroll down on a page, we're gonna take a look at what's been going down recently. So green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So definitely a good amount of closed positions that we're seeing here. But we're also seeing some open positions and we're also seeing as of late, even on April the 1st, some adjustments were made by private advisor group as well as sub Sabsquana, and as well as Schwab Total Stock Market Index Fund. Also have something from Blackstone and as well as Vexmex. So this is going on from March 1st going all the way to April 1st thus far. And that's not looking too bad. So there is some interest in regards to institutions looking at genius brands. But another thing to take into consideration I want you guys to be aware of, a lot of institutions also do short the stock as well by puts and so forth as you can see over here so i just want you guys to know and be aware of this because like we said we saw the short volume ratio was well over 30 percent so that's something just to keep in mind when you are taking a look at this stock so for my final thoughts on genius brands this is definitely a very volatile stock and it's also one of the reasons why you need to make sure you're following the penny stock rule so what that means is is that you're limiting your exposure so if you have a portfolio, then Genius Brand should not be taking up 50% of your portfolio. Instead, Genius Brand should be taking up no more than 10 to 5% of your portfolio and getting into those support and price areas like we spoke about in the technical analysis. The reason being is because again, with this stock, it is well known for not being able to keep its gains. If you're looking at Genius Brand's long-term then it'll be a different ball game for you, of course, but just know whenever that volatility comes, you really have no right to be complaining or being worried about it because if you believe in the company, it shouldn't bother you at all with the fluctuations that are happening with this stock. Another thing to be aware of, yes, they have a multitude of things going on. We already know, hey, they're working with Roblox. We also know that they're gonna be working with Marvel and the whole Stan Lee in, in regards to that. We've also heard about them saying that they're interested in NFTs. We already know that NFTs are hot right now. There's a lot of networks in regards to what they have on the cartoon, like for example, Shaq's Garage, the Stan Lee's, we already knew that they have a proven track record of bringing out new things and evolving. But one thing to realize is that how is the market actually reacting to this? And the way how it's actually looking, the market's not really liking it all that much. But again, it is steadily on an uptrend. Will it be able to maintain this uptrend? Hey, this is something we're going to have to see. But I'm gonna tell you personally, if I was gonna get into a position, I would definitely look in to get into a dollar and 80 cents or lower. I would not get in any higher. And I would definitely look out for a pullback. So that makes me want to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So when you do invest, just know that you're doing it at your own risk. So overall, in general, as far as my overall sentiments on Genius Brands, yes, this is a stock where, you know what, there's definitely opportunities to take advantage of when it pops. We already know that the short interest overall is over 30%, and we do know that increases the likelihood of a short squeeze. Part of the reasons why we see those pops whenever there's a press release or some good news comes out. So if you are gonna be trading it or if you're looking to invest in it, I heavily emphasize make sure that you watch the technical analysis portion of the video because it will help guide you. Overall, in general, 
Genius Brands, I think it's okay. Again, it just has a lot to prove. Yes, it has a lot of things going on. They also have some cash on the balance sheet. They were talking about mergers and acquisitions and so forth, but hey, I really need to see what do they have that is proven that could actually reflect in the stock price. Until I really see that, as far as how I'm feeling about it, I think it's okay. But is it something as a must have? Not at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll talk soon. Peace.